Good morning guys. Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl T and I'm back with another video. So guys, as you can see by the title, it is Sunday. It is at the start of a new week y'all and I just wanna start the week right. So let me just sit y'all down real quick. So with it being Sunday, wait, wait, wait. Before we get on with this video, let me show y'all how my flowers is blooming y'all. Hold on one second. Y'all, look how pretty these flowers are. Like, some of them are starting to, like, die and stuff. But, like, look how these bloomed. Like, this is so freaking pretty. Like, oh, my God. They did their big one picking that one out. I'm not going to lie to y'all. So, y'all, with it being Sunday, I just want to start off the week right. Um, last week, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Last week was not a good week for me. Like, I ended my week very bad. Like, very like in-house very like to myself and i just got like a long 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 week ahead of me y'all and i feel like i want to utilize my sunday today to really get things in order because sometimes i find myself really taking my rest day which is considered sunday i i find myself taking my rest day very seriously and i really rest around the house i eat sometimes i clean y'all it depends on the sunday it depends on my mood but the way last week was looking Sunday was bound to be a rest day for me and I wasn't even gonna get out that bed, y'all. I really think about it like this week is crazy for me. I don't know why I did this to myself, but this week is crazy, y'all. I'm going to Dallas, <coughs> I'm going to Milwaukee. It's just a lot going on in one week. And on top of that, um, I have a party that I'm attending in Milwaukee. So on top of traveling and doing all the other stuff that I have to do, I have to, do maintenance at the same time i have to find time for maintenance so i literally before i got to bed today i literally came up with a weekly to-do list so i can make sure i do everything and have some type of organization because well i don't have no organization into my life i be getting really really like what i'm trying to say i get really like frustrated and i just don't want that so came up with my to-do list for every single free day that i have today and by i mean this week and by free day, I mean like nothing to do. So I have to utilize it to do other things. So that would be today and Monday. And then probably Friday. No, not even Friday, Thursday. So this week, um, like I said, I'm going to Dallas to work because I do have a busy July. So I wanna make sure I accommodate my um, Dallas clients when I'm able to. So this week um today is pretty like a pretty chill day so i'm using this sunday to reset and just get my week all the way together get my house together because when i go out of town i do not like coming back home to a dirty house like when i mean clean i mean deep clean i mean no laundry no garbage in the, um the garbage can like speak and span in my day today doing that i'm gonna read y'all my agenda for today but tomorrow is kind of a free day. I got a couple clients. I got some maintenance going on tomorrow. Then Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm in Dallas. Friday, I have one free day, and I'm probably gonna use that to get some more maintenance done. And then, I mean, Thursday, that's Thursday, y'all. I'm gonna use that day to get some more maintenance done. And then on Friday, I have an early flight to Milwaukee, and I don't come back from Milwaukee till Monday or Tuesday. I haven't figured that out yet. Crazy, then on top of that, I have to find somewhere for my child to go. Oh my God, like, Literally, finding somebody to watch my dog has been the most, the, the ultimate challenge, okay, of having a dog. Okay, not feeding, not training, not um, keeping up with his maintenance, his grooms, not, uh, none of that. The ultimate challenge is finding somebody to watch my dog, because one, not everybody's a dog person. For two, I don't trust everybody with my dog. For three, I don't trust everybody with my dog. And four, I don't trust with everybody with my dog. So it's just like, what do I do? So 
I'm planning on leaving Tito at my mother's house when I go to Dallas, just leaving him near. Um, I'm gonna be sad as hell, but that's my only choice. Tito, please stop for you poke a hole in my couch. Please. Um, but the thing is, I don't know. That means I would have to drive all the way to Milwaukee to get him when I come back. I don't know. That's neither here nor there. Let's get, let's read this daily agenda. Let's read Sunday's agenda, y'all. Let's read Sunday's agenda. So I got the smallest things on here, y'all, because I've been really going off of a daily agenda, like a to-do list, because not every day is a good day for me. And some days I have days where I just don't want to get up. I just don't feel like talking to nobody, being around nobody. Like the stuff that I know I have to do, I be sitting at my laptop knowing I have to do it, but my body won't allow me because I'm just such in a shitty mood. I'm one of those people that hate like not getting things done when I know I gotta get things done. So me like writing them down or putting them on my phone like fucks with my mental if like I don't check them off the list on the like at the certain day or at a certain time that they need to be done. So I felt that that has worked for me. So if you are one of those people like me, Try to do daily agendas, daily to-do lists. I'm pretty sure it's gonna work because you're gonna wanna make it seem like, you're gonna wanna feel accomplished at the end of the day. Like when I make to-do lists or daily agendas, y'all, if I don't get through that list by the end of the day, I feel like shit. And I hate feel like shit. So I always get it done. What are you doing, sir? See, though, it's crazy, y'all. So this is on today's agenda. So like I said, I put every single thing on there from small, Small things to little things. It could be watering my damn flowers. I will put them on there because just me checking that off, by the end of the day, I'm gonna feel complete. Like, I, I, I water my flowers today. This is today's daily agenda. I have to brush Tito. So if y'all don't know, I literally um, had a mishap with Tito for not brushing him enough. And then when he went to the groomer, they shaved all my dog's hair off. And I never want that ever to happen again. He's just now starting to look normal. So I'm trying to keep up with his brushing and his combing. So we're gonna do that to start off the morning. And um, y'all, the braids have to go. I have to take my hair down. I mean, they don't have to go right at this moment, but this is the smart thing. I have a busy week ahead of me. So the smart thing would be to just get it out the way, take my hair down, and don't have to worry about it. When I'm traveling to Dallas, when I get back from Dallas, because my hair appointment is most likely right when I get back from Dallas and I'm gonna be tired, I'm gonna be driving, I'm gonna be up, all that. Why not just get out the way now, Tiana? The lazy part of me will be like, girl, you could do it Thursday night at your mama house. But then it's just like, why even stress myself out? So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down. I'm gonna throw the load in the washer. I'm gonna clean up my kitchen and my living room, my bedroom and my um, bathroom, which is not that, dirt. I know it sounds like a lot y'all, but it's not that much because my, Mom and my little sister literally just left my house. So I'm gonna do a quick little sweep, a quick little mop, like nothing too major because I literally just deep cleaned my house last weekend. So I'm gonna do a quick little mop just so I can get that pine saw fabuloso and bleach smell in my house. Oh, I love that. Probably vacuum like my rug and then bleach my tub and stuff like that. Y'all know the vibes. So that ain't gonna take long because it's pretty much already done. I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes, y'all. I've been wanting to clean my makeup brushes for weeks and I keep like, pushing it to the side. I want to clean my makeup brushes today and I'm going to do just that. I'm done with all my house duties. My house is up to par for the week because if I clean it today, it's gonna be clean all week because I'm really not gonna be here um, besides tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take Tito to this dog park that my neighbor told me about um, up the street from my house. Um, I didn't even know about this. It's only like 10 to 11 minutes away from my house. I'm in this vlog today, but we're gonna continue it tomorrow because tomorrow I have a 10.30 morning Zoom meeting. So that's another reason why I wanna take my hair um, out because I just wanna look up to part from my Zoom meeting. Um, I wanna do me like a nice, cute, slick back bun. One thing about it, when you ain't had your bun in a minute, that first bun that you do since the last time you did your bun, be so freaking cute, yo. Baby hairs be perfect. That part be straight down the middle, you know what I'm saying? So. That's why I have to take my hair down. Like the braids could go a couple more days if I would like, but it's just like, y'all, <laughs> I gotta do what I gotta do. So that's what's on today's agenda, y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. If you made it this far in this vlog, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, y'all. Um, we coming with a lot of content this week. Oh my God, this camera's really finna get put into use. Um, so yeah, let's 
let's get this Sunday started, I guess. So I guess we're gonna start with Brush and Tito, y'all. He is crazy. Look at him, y'all. He know I'm talking about him. Hey, mommy. Hi, Weeder. Hi, Weeder. Okay, y'all, before we get started, though, I forgot to show y'all. I really wanna show y'all what I literally just taught Tito yesterday. Like, my dog is so smart. He learned this in 30 minutes, y'all. So y'all know he's one. He just turned one last week and we really been working on training and obedience and just listening to mommy. So he's been knowing how to sit for a quite some time now, for like a month. And I said, once he got sit down packed, we were gonna move on to give me paw because my other dog that I had as a child, I taught him how to give you a paw. I don't know how I did that at such a young age, but I did so. Yesterday, um, I sat in the house all day and we really worked on Gimme Paw and Tito has mastered it in 30 minutes. So, I just wanna show y'all. Don't play with my teeter bug. You ready, baby? Come on, let's show them. These are the treats that I bought him. They are training treats, they real little. And I think they are chicken flavored. They look like this, like little hearts and they're tasty chicken recipe. Um, Tito is very picky when it comes to treats. He do not like all treats. So when I bought these, I prayed they, that he liked them because I don't have money to waste, sir. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here, Reader. Come here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're gonna show the vlog what you know. Get up. Up, 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 baby. Up, up, up. Sit. Give me paw. Yay! Good job, we the bug. Sit. Give me paw. Yay! Good job, we the bug. One more time for them. One more time. Good job. Hey, you can't do that. You cheating. Paw. Yay! Good job, we the Now we're gonna brush you. Yes, we're gonna give you a brush. Don't mind my nails. So the first one says, the most beautiful adventures are not those we go to seek. And then the next one says, go for it. You never know what will happen next. Y'all, I live by this. I live by this. Like, if you want to do something, 
or it's something on your mind that you want to do for a minute, just do it because you never know how it's going to play out. It could be the best decision you make in your life, like for real. So anyway, yeah, we just got done brushing teeth up, y'all. As y'all can see, that's just be a mess because he's not a team player. Um, So next, y'all, I think I'm about to wash my makeup brushes just because I don't know how the rest of my day going to go. Like I told y'all. Um, I might do something later. I don't know. This is just what I have planned on my to-do list right now. But I'm going to wash my makeup brushes and I'm going to use this bowl. Um, so let me go get my makeup brushes. So if you've been following me since I moved, you know that my vanity opens as a vanity, but it closes as a desk. Um, because I feel like the desk is more like presentable in a room. I feel like vanity like messes up the aesthetic but anyway y'all so hold on let me see let me plug it up so i have bought this light to go with it honestly because my vanity did not come with vanity lights so i have to buy my own custom vanity lights from amazon I'll just take all my brushes and i'm gonna gather them in this bowl and then yeah so this is the shampoo that i use let me show y'all So this is the shampoo that I used uh, when I worked at Sephora. I bought this on clearance and it's not a lot left. Oh my God. So we might have to use a Dove soap because before I got this, I used Dove soap. So yeah, y'all know I got plenty of that. So yeah, this is what I'm going to use until it's ran out. Then we're going to use Dove soap. I need to not put my white robe on this vanity. What the heck? As y'all can see, my mirror needs to be clean. All type of stuff. So what a day. Um, and I, my vanity is a mess, y'all, because I literally do my makeup and I just go. <laughs> As you can see, like, I be on the go. So, my makeup vanity is a mess, but okay, whatever. That's neither here nor there, y'all. I'm going to um, take all the brushes and put them in this bowl and we're going to clean them. I changed my robe because um that was a white robe I don't have time to be getting makeup all on my white robe and I just got that out the washer so these are my makeup brushes y'all I don't have a super duper lot but as y'all can see my makeup brushes are a mess look at this a nasty lash on there um literally I be using this like the end of my brushes to put my lash strips on all type of stuff so that's why I have them all in the bowl um, right here, I have, um, don't mind this because I just put this right. So right here, I have my paper towel, which I'm going to set my brushes on to dry. And then I have my dove soap. It's just a piece of old dove soap that's like, need to get thrown in the garbage that I feel will work good for this. And then I have the last shampoo. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to fill this with the water. Okay, y'all, so how I clean mine is I just let them soak in this water for a little bit. I let them soak in here for a little bit. The water is filthy, y'all, right now. The beauty blender be the worst. Ooh. So, it's nothing really to my routine, y'all. I'm going to use this first paper towel to dab. And then these two paper towels over here to dry. Yeah, what I usually do is I just use the shampoo and mix it with water. And y'all, it is hot water. Well, y'all, I'm gonna use a little bit of Dove soap too. Mm. 
-hmm. And this is Dove Sensitive Skin Oil. So. And then, um, I feel like you really know when your brushes um, are fairly dry. When it's no color. So I like to like, y'all see how that just got so clean. It's a little bit of tint because this is my blush brush. But um, yeah, so I just go like that. It smells so good. Yep, and then, looks like I'm not gonna be wearing no makeup today. But yeah. So that's how I'm gonna do it, y'all. I'm gonna speed it up, but stay tuned, all right? Y'all, look at this water. Ugh, so nasty. As y'all can see, all my makeup brushes are clean. They're as clean as they gonna get, y'all. So, um, because we have other stuff to do. But pay attention to the deets, okay? So y'all see it, Tina Cole Cosmetics. Oops, Tina Cole Cosmetics. We got a lot of Tina Cole Cosmetics brushes in here. Y'all, I miss my brand so much. I miss working with my brand. I miss wearing my brand. Well, I always wear my brand, y'all, because I have so many Tina Cole Cosmetics products. Still, like lip glosses. I wear Tina Cole Cosmetics on the daily basis. It's like half the time I do my makeup, more than half the time, 99.9% .9 of the time I do my makeup, I'm wearing Tina Cole Cosmetics because I have the best glosses ever to me. I can't wait till it come back, y'all. Like, this is what I love doing. I love all my other businesses too, but I really, really miss Tina Cole Cosmetics, y'all. And we coming, like we coming. Like y'all not even ready, but we, it's a comeback coming for sure. But so usually when I have, when I clean my makeup brushes, I sit them on my balcony, y'all, so it can get some of that natural sunlight and um, they can dry quick. So I'm about to sit these on my balcony and then I'm about to um, start cleaning the rest of my house. Um, that took longer than I thought, and I'm gonna dump this nasty water out. But Tito, what you eating, baby? Stop it. But okay, yeah, y'all. Like I said, makeup brushes is complete. Makeup brushes is clean, y'all. These makeup brushes are so like old. I do need to go makeup shopping. As you can see, I got lash glue on my brushes, but they still work. One thing about it, so. They might not look cute, but that face be beat every time, okay? Period. So, yeah.
y'all before i start my low i always go in my room to make sure i don't have anything that needs to go in the washer because i literally hate when i wash and then i come in my room i got a pair of shorts like this on the floor and stuff like that so i'm gonna shoot these in the washer <sighs> got stuck time y'all it's 12 something but i decided to make me a matcha that's the vibe it's, it's giving so i just literally put my matcha in the microwave because the instructions say um put the matcha in the microwave with hot milk so you want to combine the matcha powder with hot milk so i just put it in there together I just throw it in the microwave. I'm gonna mix it real like good with my straw. Cause last time I made it, it was too much um, powder still in there. Happy Sunday! <laughs> Clink. <laughs> This is so good. Mm. I made this so good. I'm gonna start on my kitchen. Y'all, and while I got uh, my kitchen started, I'm about to have my vacuum do his thing around the house. Tito is so scared of the vacuum, y'all. He hates this vacuum. Look at him. He know he's scared. So I'm just about to let my vacuum do its thing around the house and then when I get done washing my dishes and I'll do a good sweep because I don't trust this vacuum like that. So, okay y'all. Let's get it started. I'm gonna blast my music real quick. Some Sunday jams to be exact. Why not? Tito, if you scared of it, get away from it, babe. He got hard, just like his mama. showed y'all this i showed y'all this on one of my vlogs when i went to target 10 out of 10 for me the only thing is i would never use this for my bathroom um because i have white appliances and it just wasn't working out for me it was too orange it was staining it and i just don't like that so yeah i use this on my stuff stove top and um they say you can use it on pots and pans but I never use it on my pots and pans because there's nothing that comment can't do for me. But yeah, I just wanted to put y'all on. Y'all gotta try this. The tangerine clean. And y'all know I got like the, the scrub daddy sponge. Yeah. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Smells 
So now, um, like I told y'all, I just deep clean my house. So I literally just mopped last weekend, but I'm gonna sweep some more and I'm gonna just do a quick little wash. So I'm not gonna boil my water. Uh, Cause I got shit to do, but oh, I'm gonna just um, fill this up with my mop water real quick something quick something easy you know so while that's filling up y'all let me show y'all what i i use so number one i use bleach duh <clears throat> i do a little bit of pine saw a little bit of fabuloso and i always y'all always i always use murphy's y'all so my house is all hardwood floors. That's how I like it. So this is like the finishing touch, y'all. The finishing touch. And then I usually put like those little washing beads, you know, the beads that you wash with. I put them in there for more of a scent, but I ran out. So what we got? Um, yeah, I think that's all I use. So it's filling up. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of Fabuloso in there. A little pine saw. Some bleach. Y'all, it's something about me walking in my house and it smell like bleach, pine saw, and wood murphy. Like literally, I love that shit. So then I'm gonna put <laughs> some murphy in there. They said that you only need, um, let me tell y'all the amount that they said. They said you only need one fourth cup, but y'all do what I want. Like literally, I like my floors to shine real bad. <laughs> so, I'ma let that fill up. While that's filling up, y'all, I'm about to take my broom and I'm about to do a little mouth sweep because it's a few things on my floor. This is almost filled. <laughs> Y'all, it's something about a well mop floor. Look at that. Y'all see that glow? Tito, can you back up? <laughs> hey, God, you on my back per usual. But y'all see that? That's that Murphy's on that. Yeah. Y'all see it. Y'all see the shine. I love that. It's not Even from that angle, baby. It doesn't feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that freaking floor. Yes. It's still wet, but baby, it stays that way. Even the bathroom vibes. Yeah. y'all this is my favorite fabric spray so even though my comforter and my couch don't have an odor on there don't mind my pillow right there i have to get the uh what's that called i have to get the pillowcase out the dryer but i love to spray this all over my fabric anyway pillows all that good stuff sir don't mind all this stuff y'all i'm still cleaning up but 
I like to put it on my couch and my pillows just to give off that good smell like and then when you spray it it'd be like a little damp because it's that knee but yeah y'all y'all gotta get y'all some of these so good um as y'all can see you could put it on couches you could put it on your bed your clothes and your curtains you all so my house is finally clean i'm so excited i feel so good like when your house is clean like everything just be bad cranberry juice over there my mind is literally dumping i don't know who is texting y'all but so y'all i went outside to take the garbage out baby it's too hot for tito to be running out of the dog park that's why i haven't took him to the dog park because the news said it's too hot here for dogs to be outside period like go outside use the bathroom okay but come back in but sitting outside it's a, extremely too hot so better yet playing that's a lot um so i don't know if i'm gonna take him to the dog park y'all I literally want to go to the pool. I feel like the pool is the perfect Sunday like type of vibe. I've been at the pool lately, but last time I went to the pool, I got a 10 and I ain't like that because I'm already black enough. But I want to go to the pool before I take my braids out so like I can keep my hair wet and stuff like that and not give a fuck. But I'm just about to chill y'all. Um, I just put my load of clothes in the dryer. Well, I showed y'all that already. But yeah, I'm literally about to chill. One thing about it, if I have juice in my house, y'all, it's gonna be cranberry juice. Like, I don't drink juice. I only buy waters for my house, so I don't have a choice to drink water. But I have some cranberry juice though. So it's almost lunchtime. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat too. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, y'all. Ooh, I feel so productive. I feel so good. My house is clean, baby. Every single room is clean. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to chill. And I'll probably talk to y'all in a minute, y'all. I'll probably talk to y'all in like an hour or so when I decide what I'm going to do. But yeah, who is texting me? Okay, y'all, so I'm dressed and ready to go to H-E-B to get my ingredients for my spicy chicken noodle soup. So before we go, can we get into this natural light up in my house? Like, I need to start really taking advantage of the natural light in my house and stop um, using so much electricity when I could just open my blinds. But I just want to show y'all what I did. So before I went to the store, I literally hate going to the grocery store. I don't know if y'all like going to the grocery store, but I hate going to the grocery store. And I literally put all my ingredients in my notes and I went on HEB.com where they show you like, if you type in like the certain item that you're looking for, if you type it in, they'll show you what aisle it is in. So I just typed up my list of everything that I need. And then I put the aisle, so you got aisle six, aisle six. Literally, everything is near each other, honestly, besides my whipping cream. Cause the noodles is in aisle five. The chicken bouillon and the chicken broth is in aisle six. And then all like my celery and my carrots and stuff, that's in produce. So it's just like, this, we gonna be in and out. <laughs> we gonna be in and out. <laughs> Literally, I want to make this like a 20 minute trip. I literally hate, ooh, I literally hate the grocery store. So me and Tito, oh, let me get his leash because I'm going to go ahead and walk him before we get in. He's, I got on my little orange dress, y'all, because I hate putting on two pieces of clothing. Like I need to buy run around dresses, like the dresses, like the long dresses that you run around in because them is the type of dress you need to go to the grocery store in because that's where all the hoochie daddies at. Like literally, they say you meet your man at the grocery store. My mama met my daddy at the grocery store. So, you know, I gotta stay up the park at the grocery store. The brain's a little old, but <laughs> listen, let's go see though. My son need a new pappy.
a crunchy cake coating, but it's kind of like, it's not like the other ones. Like, first of all, the other ones, I'm gonna put a picture up. I'm gonna put a picture up. The other ones are like a darker pink, like a strawberry pink. And then these taste like cheesecake a little bit. Like, it's cheesecake or some mixed with it. Y'all need to try these. If you love strawberry shortcakes, try this brand. They changed the game with this. <coughs> they changed the game with these, for real. Y'all gotta try them and let me know how y'all like them. So anyway, y'all, I'm about to, I think I'm gonna start. Okay, so I'm gonna put my chicken on first. So while my chicken is cooking, I could cut up my carrots, my celery, um, what else? My parsley, my cilantro, jalapeno, my potatoes. Like I said, I wasn't gonna put potatoes in it, but I decided to put potatoes in it for that extra twist. So I'm gonna cut up some tomato. I mean, I'm gonna cut up the potatoes or whatever. I am so glad I bought fresh cut onions, y'all, because I just hate cutting onions. I don't care. Um, let me get my meat garlic. I already have meat garlic, say like my vegetables. But yeah, I'm about to get started, y'all. I'm gonna use. I just feel like I wanna make cooking at least one thing every Sunday a thing. Unless I'm somewhere like got something going on like next weekend. I'll be out of town. The weekend after that, I'll probably be out of town too. But if I have like a Sunday in and I'm not doing nothing, no plans, I wanna make it my priority to cook. Because I said when I moved y'all that I was gonna cook more cause I didn't cook at my house. So everybody just be trying to be funny. Like I don't cook, I don't know how to cook. Like I feel like it's nothing to cook. Like. <laughs> You just need a recipe and you go. I mean, I feel like the most is like, what, seasoning? That's it. So this is what I'm gonna be cooking my soup in today. But I'm gonna cook my chicken in this pan. Hopefully it's enough. I might have to do, I don't got pots of pans like that, y'all. So I might have to do two pans to make my chicken on. But I'm about to start that, y'all. I'm about to play some music. And I'm about to get in my zone because ever since, like, every time I cook something, I realized how therapeutic it is. Like, now I understand why people be liking to cook because it's very therapeutic and it just helps my mental. And then I'll be, I'll be happy because I have something to eat on for two days. Like, living by yourself, being single, it's real ghetto because you gotta find something to eat every single day. You gotta make sure you eat every single day. Like, ugh, the ghetto. But okay, y'all, I'm finna start this up because it's five o'clock, I already told y'all I don't like cooking after five because then I'll be eating at like nine, ten. So, I'll see y'all in a minute. <laughs> cut up we got parsley cilantro carrots and celery i hope this is enough celery if not i'll put some more up but yeah and now we still waiting on chicken the chicken's right there now i'm about to cut up my potato shredding my chicken i still got one to put on and then i got one on there so yeah this take hard work and dedication so i'll be back but 
We getting somewhere, y'all. So, y'all, I literally almost forgot about my jalapeno, y'all. That's why I sit all my stuff out because, y'all, I would literally forget. So, let me cut that up. So, my jalapenos is cut. The chicken is already done. It's ready. So, now I'm about to saute my vegetables. So, I'm going to add some olive oil to my pot. Potatoes are hard now, so I'm adding my chicken. Okay, y'all, so I'll let the chicken sit in there for a little bit. And I added some of the chicken um, that, dang, where's my food? I added some of the chicken in there that I, uh, the last piece, but I didn't add the whole thing. I'm gonna get a rest of Tito. So I'm gonna just add these noodles in there this is more than enough chicken let me show y'all this at first i'm like oh my god too much heavy cream still too much heavy cream y'all but look at this ah, that's a lot of damn chicken up in there but oh my god this looks so freaking good oh but y'all see the potatoes mm, no play super good so i'm gonna add the noodles in there and i'll be right back so, I don't know if I told y'all or not, but I ended up getting these noodles. I had went back and got indecisive. So, I got the noodles in there. So, now I'm just stirring it around, y'all. Waiting for the noodles to get soft and shit. It's damn near up. It is a little spicy, y'all. But y'all know I'm going to add some Tabasco sauce still. Because, girl, please. So, I guess it's, we got to wait on this noodles and then we can dive in oh my god but it looks good it don't look too bad like i said i use too much whooping cream but it don't look that bad y'all i'm not gonna lie y'all i keep taking little bites of this and burning my tongue but y'all this looks so freaking good y'all see them crushed red peppers up in there i don't know where them jalapenos at but it definitely did. The, the, the jalapenos definitely did what they needed to do because it gave it that little spice. And like I said, I'm going to add my Tabasco sauce. But y'all, I'm so excited. I'm trying to make sure the noodles get completely done. I want them to be completely soft. And then we going to eat. Okay, y'all. So here it is. Chicken noodle soup. Y'all know I have to put some Tabasco sauce in here. I told y'all that. Oh my God, it's fogging up the camera. Ooh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so now I'm about to um, pour me a fresh side of cranberry juice. One second. I want me a straw super bad, so I'm just gonna use my iced coffee straw. Don't tell nobody what they do. I'm so excited, I'm gonna watch some YouTube. And I'm about to chill out. Mm, I hope y'all enjoyed that little cooking tutorial. I'm going to let y'all know how it tastes though. But I think it's going to be good. Let me take my first bite on here. I got to get some tomato. I mean, I got to get some potatoes on there. Some noodles, some mushro, carrots. Mm.
I'm not gonna lie to you all. I did my big one. I did. I did. Oh, you all. This is good. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. That is so good. Oh my God. Okay, Tiana. Get your shit off. <laughs> I'm about to close the kitchen and relax. And yeah, I'll see y'all momentarily. Bye. Okay guys, so it is the end of the night and if you can only guess, I'm tired. But I told myself I at least have to start my braids. So I have 12 braids, which is so irritating. I don't feel like taking these down. But I'm gonna cut them to like right here. So I really don't feel like taking my hair down y'all. But I'm just trying to be responsible because I know this is the right thing to do. Take them out now. <laughs> um, I don't think my hair is long, so I'll be good. I ain't really feel like taking them down a lot, but so take them down now because I'm gonna be ready in the morning because I do got a Zoom meeting at 10:30, so. I gotta make sure my hair is bun ready because I'm gonna put it in a sleep back button for my meeting. So I can't, because I gotta be professional, so. I don't wanna have these braids to the back, these long braids to the back. I just don't think that is Zoom meeting material. So, everybody say bye bye to the braids. Say bye bye. Y'all, these braids were so fun. I be so sad taking out braids. Cause I be like, dang, this really the end? But I just know this is the best. Even though I don't wanna do shit else to my hair right now. I don't wanna have to deal with my hair. This is just the best decision. Because if I don't take it out now, I'm gonna be stressed trying to take it out later. So, I'm about to take these down, y'all. It shouldn't take too long. It's just irritating because I don't have nails on. And my nails are not. My nails are short. <laughs> Yo, I look at you, mess. And my hair is so freaking greasy from whatever grease was used. So now I'm all set for the morning. I'm gonna get some Z's, y'all. I had me a long, productive day. I hate when I clean up my bathroom, though, and then I gotta take down my hair. Cause now it's hair all over the bathroom, and now I gotta sweep or whatever. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna take it in. Look at all this hair. All this hair. So, yeah. I'm gonna get some Z's, and I'll see y'all. Oh, I look a mess. And I'll see y'all in the AM. I ever did because I can't find my heart brush. 
So I literally had to use a weed brush to do my slick back bun. That doesn't even make sense. Irritated because in the middle of me washing my hair, my earring must have came out. So then I was picking up some hair or something off the floor and I seen it. And I scooped it up right away like, oh my God, my earring came out. And the rest was history, y'all. I don't know what I did with it. And then when I really came to my senses, I'm like, wait, what did I do with my earring? Can't even remember what the hell I did with my earring. And it's so irritating because it's in his bathroom somewhere, but I don't know where it's at. Wipe, wiping floor, hair off the floor with paper towel, throwing it in the garbage. So I'm guessing like maybe I picked it up and then sweep hair off the floor and threw it away. Done my whole garbage can out, can't find it. So it's just like, wow, that's irritating. I can't keep up with jewelry at my big ass age. Those were real diamond earrings. Like this is a real diamond earring. I've had it for like maybe three years, not even, maybe four. And those were a gift. <laughs> I'm just annoyed. Like, cause it's just like, it's one thing if I lost it outside or I came home and I noticed my earring was gone, don't know where it was at. But I literally seen it on the floor, I picked it up and the rest was history. I literally went like this, I didn't see anything and I threw it in the toilet. Maybe I shouldn't have did that because what if it was on there? Cause where else is it? I don't even know what I did with y'all. I'm just so irritated. That's like a horrible way to start off my morning, my week, my Monday. I'm just so annoyed because now I don't have a freaking earring. Like, uh, L after L, if I may say. That's just so annoying. I gotta go back to wearing fake earrings. Cause I ain't buying it. Uh, what the actual fuck? Uh. So I literally just got done with my meeting, right? And Tito was literally on my feet right here, laying here while I'm in my Zoom meeting. So he like got some in his mouth. So I'm like, Tito, what you got on your mouth now? Y'all, this dog right here, Tito Nicholas, he was literally made for me. He is a blessing from God. Let me tell y'all why. Look what Tito had in his mouth, y'all. My diamond. something i searched high and low and low and high in that bathroom for this earring not knowing where it was at how did this dog bring i'm in the middle of my meeting and the earring had to be in the bathroom okay because i don't know where else i put it how did he know to bring it to me how did he know i was looking for this earring literally y'all the earring was right on the floor like he had it in his mouth like Thank you so much, God, for Tito. I'm so grateful for my dog. Like, this is the dog for me. It, it's no other dog in this world for me because what are the odds of that happening with a bug? Mommy love you. Mommy love that baby. Y'all, I'm so freaking grateful for Tito. I got in a fake earring just so I could look presentable, but y'all don't know me losing my earring like, Literally like messed up my whole day. It's just like, that's a real diamond earring and I've had them for four years and it was a gift from my ex four years ago. Not that I care about that, but it's just, I'm just saying, I didn't have to buy them. So, get a bug from my earring. Oh my God, what a perfect way to end this vlog, y'all. End of the vlog, y'all. I just got done with my meeting on my Zoom call. It went fairly well, y'all. My necklace then broke, Ugh, a mess, 
um, I tried to get my stuff together a little bit, y'all. I got on my little glasses or whatever. But I'm about to end this vlog and I'm about to start another one because I'm telling y'all I'm back on my Zoom. I'm on my Zoom, okay? So, I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know if y'all want more of these. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.